So we are going to talk about Bonk. Bonk is sitting at 29 right now. Uh, it has four zeros in front of it, but you can see it is sitting at 29. As I had shared with you in my previous video, so right now it is back to its support. It tested 2600 very beautifully. You can see the wick. It is on 2600 literally. So I would expect it to go up instead of going down. But the moment this loses the support, then the next stop is 2200. And that is not something that uh, maybe people want. The support is still at 26 and the resistance is at 30. And the expectations from Bonk are that if it wants to go bullish, it needs to break above 30. And then we can start talking about other targets of 34, 38, and then we can go continue to go up with it. But it is too early to talk about it. Why? Because it is sitting very close to its resistance. It needs to break above 30, conquer it, and only after that we can talk about it getting bullish. I've already discussed how you conquer a support or resistance. I have I make 10 videos that if you're not subscribed to my YouTube, you wouldn't notice. But in some videos, I do add a bit of education part. I'm not going to do that in every video. That is going to make it problematic. So I did cover that, I think, in the Polygon Matic coin, uh, coin video. I talked about it in a bit of detail to explain how things work. So from here, based on the concept, if it is running towards resistance and it fails, then that means that Bonk is going to fall towards 26. And that makes it a, uh, makes it a critical place for uh, us to look at Bonk. Why? Because the thing is that Bonk really needs to... Uh, conquer this area to declare that yes now bonk wants to go up uh, and it wants to have a rally but if bonk is not able to conquer the 29 um, it is actually 29.12 i mean it is very close to 30 then bonk is going to go towards 26 and that is going to be a good amount of drop for those who are looking for an entry and i wouldn't say that it is a bad entry market overall is in a critical point if you are looking for a direction see if btc is going to go above 67,300 and start living there or not if it is not able to do that that is going to declare that btc wants to fall and the rest of the crypto along with it will fall too so that's why while it is sitting very close to its resistance i cannot give you uh, a confirmation on the fact this is going to break its resistance I would still lean towards the support of 26 just because of the fact there is no clarity in the market because Bitcoin has not done what it is supposed to do. So by the time you watch video, see what actually happened in the market and then you can see if it is going to break the resistance or not. And of course, I've explained the breaking of resistance in Polygon video.